This is where you sell off all the cars, houses, watches, jewelry, or whatever you seize at a police auction. According to the Federal Equitable Sharing Program, your police department gets to keep 80% of the money made from selling whatever they seized. Between 2000 and 2019, that amounted to over $8 billion in payouts to state or local agencies. Who said it's only crime that pays? With all that cash flowing into your department, the possibilities are endless. Sure, you could use the money to pay for officer salaries or buy new equipment. The Missouri Highway Patrol spent over $2 million in four years just buying new cars. But that's not all. Like Sheriff Bill Smith from Georgia, you could use that money to buy a boat, a $90,000 Dodge Viper, or to pay inmates to build you a party house. Unfortunately, this is not a joke, he really did that. The Civil Asset Forfeiture Program was originally designed to discourage crime by reminding people crime doesn't pay, that the proceeds of a crime will be taken away. In the words of one DA, we should not let drug dealers or anyone involved in any kind of financial scam or Ponzi scheme reap the benefits of their illegal actions. It's a punishment. I don't want drug dealers benefiting from poisoning children and then keeping the money. The system started with good intentions. But today, it's just another reminder that a job in law enforcement can still be a very lucrative career. Just ask Sheriff Bill.